Hello everyone, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. I'm finally here and in a better mood. And I'm ready to get back to my somewhat normal routine. Christmas is in five days from now, so for me it's a little bit a bad time to come back because then I'm gonna be gone for Christmas and everyone's gonna be busy, but I am back and I am just gonna record. I don't know when this is gonna come out. I'll probably wait till after Christmas just because, oh, well, maybe not, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I was gonna wait after Christmas because I feel like everyone's busy this weekend, but I don't know. I'm eating rice right now. I'm having rice with taco seasoning soy sauce and hot sauce weirdest combination but it is so good i made burrito bowls yesterday but i decided to put the taco seasoning into the rice and oh my gosh it was a game changer it was so good I ended up mixing the whole burrito bowl and like dipping tostitos in it it was so good i've been up since five and it's one o'clock so i'm hungry i did have a bagel this morning but i'm like still hungry and i'm like craving so many carbs today like i just want like pasta and rice and bread and cheese like i just want everything really bad i think it's because like my period is due in a couple days so that's probably why but yeah so i'm eating this and i'm going to go do a video for patreon i'm just gonna do a get ready with me i'm gonna curl my i've been curling my hair with a straightener and i love it i think it lasts so much longer and looks so much cuter so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup i'm gonna take some only photos and yeah i don't really i want to go to the groceries not the grocery store shoppers drug mart because i want to get wrapping paper before it's all gone and uh, some gift cards for some people that i haven't had the time to buy for and also i don't love getting giving gift cards because it's super not personal but i don't know what to give people like i'm just not good at it and i'm not doing christmas gifts for friends this year just because i don't have money from the wedding so yeah, i just got out of the shower and i didn't wash my hair so that's why my hair is like all crazy mm. And I'm drinking it with coconut water. I talked about this before. It wasn't very good, but they're in my fridge, so I'm not gonna waste them. And yeah, so I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna do my get ready with me video, and then I'll probably see you guys when I look more presentable. All right, so I just filmed my Patreon video, and I did some OF content, and I also uploaded a TikTok. The TikTok was really funny, and now I'm in my UDI because the outfit that I just had to wear for OF was literally riding up my ass. Like, it hurt so bad, but anyways. I ended up taking the photos in it and I'm gonna go upload my Patreon video and then I'm gonna do dishes and clean the kitchen and I'll bring you guys along. I am literally like naked under this Udi. <laughs> it is so comfortable. I'm probably gonna put my hair up. I know I just did it, but I'm gonna put my hair up to do the dishes because when I do the dishes, I feel like I need to be like in comfy clothes and like cause things splash and things are gross. And so I gotta do that. And then when Josh comes home, I think we're gonna do some more OF content. And then I'm going to dinner with a friend later. And I'm so excited because I've been wanting penalty box forever. If you guys are from Windsor, you know what penalty box is and it is so bomb it's literally famous here they have like the best chicken delight ever they have like this creamy garlic sauce it's like li it was rated number one restaurant in my city it is so bomb so that's what i'm gonna do i don't know where in the vlog i'm gonna put this but i'm gonna do a little mini grocery haul so we have a bunch of gluten-free pasta and noodles because pasta sauce was on sale turns out i ended up ordering seven of these but i only got three of them yeah. which i'm kind of upset about but the one that i wanted which was the rose was apparently out of stock so instead of replacing them they just didn't give them to me got some pepperoncinis we go through peppers like crazy like we <laughs> if there's no banana pe like if we go through all of the jars like it's just really bad yeah. banana peppers jalapenos and pepperoncinis we probably eat with every meal and then we have some jalapenos i got this it's maxwell house vi french vanilla i thought it'd be good for josh to mix into his coffee maybe i don't know it's like a french vanilla thing i got these i thought they were so cute and healthy granola with activity on the bottom i got my favorite pizza goldfish i haven't had these in so long me and josh used to smoke <laughs> and go for a walk and i would bring these and they were so bomb i got some cream cheese because i'm going to make spinach dip for sunday dinner i got some artichokes because last time i added artichokes into the spinach dip and i liked it a lot more so we're gonna add those again i have some of my favorite juice i don't drink it very often like this will last me months i thought it'd be really good with sparkling water so that's why i got that got some half and half cream just for cooking some clementines they're josh's favorite i got these i don't know because i was craving them miniature corn on the cob do you know these josh yeah you've had them in like a stir fry and like oh, chinese you're food. right you're right you're right. I got some decaf coffee. I got some butter. Three bags of to of Tostitos because I want to make a taco dip for Christmas Eve or Christmas Day because we're spending Christmas Day by ourselves actually, which I'm kind of excited about. Cool. And some jalapenos, some Activia drinks, some gluten-free bread, some... We don't really... We usually get bubbly, but they didn't have a variety pack, so I decided to try this Palladrino. Let me see. Yeah. I think that's separate. S. Palad... S. Palladrino. Is it G or a C? I think it's a G. 
Pellegrino. No, Pellegrino. I think it's Gino. I think it's Gino. Pellegrino. It's tangerine and wild strawberry. Pelle and they're smaller cans, which oh. I like because I never finish big ones. It's Pellegrino. Actually, yeah, that probably sounds right. Some more butter. Some broccoli, because sometimes I just like broccoli and butter. Some bread for the spinach that I'm making. I haven't had these since I was a kid. They're the smiley potatoes. That's so funny. Cute. That's what you say when you think I'm stupid. <laughs> Some more smoothie stuff, because me and Josh had a smoothie the other day and we ran out of fruit. Some gluten-free English muffins. I thought it'd be good to make him like some maybe peanut butter and honey on these for breakfast with a tea or a coffee. More gluten-free noodles. Peppers, just for anything, I don't know. Nana peppers, which we eat these like crazy. I added them into tuna once and it was really, really good. And then I'm gonna try and recreate the Domino's, I don't know what it's called. I think it's just called like a cookie brownie cake thing. It's like mixed. It's half cookie, half brownie. So what I'm gonna do is make, make these and then mix them in a pan and bake them and see if we can have a good dessert. I don't know, I'm trying here. And then I'm not a baker, so like I'm actually horrible at baking. And then we have some iceberg lettuce, two pasta sauces, some spinach for the spinach dip, some diet, ginger ale and some bubbly success all right guys we're going to this place called jackson park they basically put on like this huge light show that is like well it's not a show it's just like you go and you see the lights we were supposed to go last year we didn't because josh didn't take me it's true we were supposed to go but every time we wanted to go it was too cold this year i'm mustering up the courage and i'm going <laughs> yeah exactly how much do they spend on these lights a year like like over a million I think. over a million dollars a year yeah they spend because every year it, it's a thing mm -hmm. so see if it's worth a million dollars probably not it doesn't look very big from like looking at it here but it's really big and there's some vendors over there oh it's so cold So we go to get our hot chocolates, which are very mediocre, by the way, but that's okay. They're actually gross. So she hands them to us and she goes, oh, enjoy, you know, the lids don't really fit that well. Like, literally. They've been, it's been spilling on him this whole entire time. It's Burning hot chocolate. Like, I could not drink it. It's all over my hands. My hands are sticky as hell right now. It kept all over my coat. It just spilled on Carly. Who gives piping hot chocolate or someone? Especially if it's a kid, too. They're, like, a lot of kids are getting it. I've been seeing them around with it. Here, good luck. Yeah, the lid doesn't fit at all. It's like they have different lids. You had one job. I don't care if this tastes like absolute shit. Just make the <laughs> lid fit right. You know? Literally. This tree is like falling over. <laughs> I have no idea how they did that. 